King Charles has been greeted by crowds in North Yorkshire after arriving on the royal train which was pulled by the famous flying Scotsman locomotive. The King stopped off at Pickering Station, on the North Yorkshire Moors Railway, to meet those involved with the loco as it marks its centenary. The volunteer-run Heritage Railway is also celebrating its 50th anniversary. The King spent time talking to people on the platform before moving to the town square to meet shop owners. At Pickering Heritage Railway Station, he met people who have worked with the Flying Scotsman, including Lord Hendy of Richmond Hill and Judith McNichol, director of the National Railway Museum in York, where the steam train is kept. Despite wearing a light-colored suit, the royal visitor accepted an invitation from the crew, including driver Chris Cubitt, to climb on board the footplate as the royal train was pulled into the station. The Flying Scotsman was retired from regular service in 1963 after covering at least 2 million miles during its service on Britain's railway network. The 70 feet, 21 meters, long locomotive was one of Sir Nigel Gressley's A1 class locomotives and is now considered one of the most famous in the world. It was officially the first locomotive to reach 100 miles per hour, 161 kilometers per hour, and on February 24 this year it marked 100 years since it entered service. Chris Cubitt, the Flying Scotsman's driver, said the King had enjoyed the trip. He's a regular because he has been here before when he opened the station in 2000. He's on his way to Scarborough now through my village. I invited him in for tea, but he said he couldn't come. After leaving the station in Pickering, the King was greeted by hundreds of well-wishers as he worked his way through the center of the town on an extended walkabout during which he met several shop owners. He also asked many of the schoolchildren who had gathered to see him whether they had enjoyed their recent half-term break. The King is later expected to visit the town's St. Peter and St. Paul's Church, which is famous for its a collection of medieval wall paintings. The frescoes, which were painted in the 1400s, are considered an example of how churches may have looked in the Middle Ages.